Breaking tonight, there's something of a political mutiny tonight among House Republicans. One of the top figures is under attack from some inside the GOP conference. Congressional correspondent Chad Pergram tells us about it from Capitol Hill this evening. Good evening, Chad. Good evening, Brett. Well, this exploded today at a meeting of the House Republican Conference, which is chaired by Liz Cheney of Wyoming. There are some conservatives who believe that Cheney has been too deferential toward Dr. Anthony Fauci. They also don't like her opposition to President Trump's plans to withdraw troops from Afghanistan and Germany. Now, Republican Congressman Matt Gates of Florida, he escalated the feud. He tweeted, quote, that Cheney worked against the president and should step down as the number three Republican in the House. Donald Trump Jr. then tweeted, quote, we already have one Mitt Romney. We don't need another. Cheney brushed off criticism from the president's son. Donald Trump Jr. is not a member of the House Republican Conference. We uh, have a situation um, uh, in many cases where in our conference we can have uh, a healthy exchange of views. Uh, unfortunately, you don't see that as much in the Democratic caucus. One Republican member told Fox that conservatives are doubling down on Cheney because, quote, there is a growing sense that we are going to lose this election big time and they are lining up someone to blame. Now, Cheney took a pass on the Wyoming Senate race this year as some conservatives instead backed former GOP Wyoming Representative Cynthia Lummis. Part of that calculus is that Cheney could emerge down the line as Republican leader or speaker. Now, there are only 13 House Republican women. Cheney is the only one with a major leadership position. Some Republicans will tell you privately that they think that Cheney could defeat Kevin McCarthy or Steve Scalise in a leadership race. Brett? Chad Bergram, live on Capitol Hill. Chad, thanks.